What up, what up? I'm back with another insight that I'm gonna share. So I just saw um, Boosie and T.I. Uh, with their kids, you know, stop a music video because they had guns and all that shit in the video and they wasn't supporting it, which is 100% respectful. We need more of that. But um, I wanted to come from the perspective of those kids. One thing that parents tend to do, especially parents that came up in some type of struggle, they glorify their struggle in a way that when they converse it to their children, they'll say, you know, when I was a kid, da da, this, this, that, that, and that happened. And it was a lot harder than it is today. Today, y'all wouldn't be able to go through half of the stuff we went through today. And when you're telling that to your child or children or people in general, because T.I. and Boosie, for instance, have influence over many people. And some of them are young and haven't found themselves in their own story yet. And what these kids are doing, why they're doing this, is because they're looking for a struggle. They want a story. Everybody wants a story. And they feel like they don't have one. And they feel like the only story that's worthy is one that's filled with some type of struggle that was overcame. And they feel like if they have a carefree life, like T.A., T.I. and Boosie's children, then they don't feel their own sense of power. And so they're searching for a way to find their own sense of power through a means that's not their story. Just because somebody else's struggle is not yours does not make your story any less powerful. You can tell the story of, there's so many people that's like that. You can tell the story of the suburban kid that has to deal with the thought and the fucking perception of this hood shit that's popping and walking in your own power through that because it is a peer pressure. And if you fold, you could fuck yourself up. So, um, I guess I'll say parents and influencers, keep in mind how you tell your struggle stories. Because it could really affect someone that doesn't know themselves in their own power yet. And for the kids, let your story nurture. You really don't want to ask for some shit that you don't want. Like, that shit seem cool. All them struggles seem cool, but I promise you when they was in it, it was not lit. So don't ask for a struggle because life will bring it to you regardless, your own kind. You don't got to ask for it. It's going to come. So don't bring a harder struggle on yourself when you can bring the story that's yours and bring that to life.